you hear that you're living elsewhere. The BBC announcer is calling you, telling you the news. Elsewhere is not a bad place at all. It is simply elsewhere. Elsewhere and else time, a child asks her father why Bobby Sands must starve to death. Or let me say, I asked my father why Bobby Sands must starve to death. Or even better, you ask your father why Bobby Sands must starve to death because you are the address of this elsewhere at exactly the same time as you're not. For example, elsewhere, an African refugee crosses into the cold border north and his fingers freeze off. He's grateful for the sanctuary and the generosity of Canadians. He is not you, unless he is you, but you know where you are in this elsewhere. Elsewhere and else time, African or black or black and African refugees are reportedly driving up from the States. Politicians are a titter about the hordes of the gate and swarms of refugees and men and women and children always in that order. Where do they come from? Where do you come from? Do they not have homes, they of elsewhere? Do you not have a home, you of elsewhere? Elsewhere, Africanized bees are swarming from South America and headed, still heading north towards North America according to the Wikimasters. Africanized bees are colloquially known as killer bees and the Wikimasters tell how Africanized bees were crossbred with various European honeybees. They tell how the East African honeybee was taken to Brazil to increase honey production and how 26 swarms escaped quarantine in 1957. And here we are. For example, elsewhere and else time, there's a lineup of people at the Red Cross clinic in Nairobi. The Red Cross needs your papers or my papers or her papers before you or she or they can take you or they or she through processing and documentation. Red Cross cares was what we heard and saw and were told. Red Cross cared, of course they did, about why, where and how we were who we are. Close by, the Red Crescent will treat you without papers. I will get support from there. You will get support from there. She will get support from there. They will get support from there. Elsewhere, migrants. Elsewhere, refugees. Elsewhere, homeless. Elsewhere, unemployed. Elsewhere, the violent. Elsewhere, the drug lords. Elsewhere, the ones most likely to spread the virus. Elsewhere, elsewhere, elsewhere. We look around and it can't be that we are elsewhere or even of elsewhere. From elsewhere at once we are in the center. Who else does elsewhere refer to if not elsewhere over there, them and not us? Where else can elsewhere be if not from here, other elsewhere? Where we were, we are always here. It's from here that you or they or the little girl asks her father why Bobby Sands must starve to death. The father is gentle. He is so gentle. He takes his time with his answer. She's ten. You're ten. I'm ten. She wants to know. I want to know. You want to know why anyone would let anyone else starve themselves to death. For example, elsewhere, the Mediterranean is a composite sea. Elsewhere, and always from the world section in the paper, the Mediterranean and migrants. Elsewhere, from the travel section in the paper, the Mediterranean and beach holidays and cruises. Elsewhere, from the well-being section in the paper, the Mediterranean and long life and health and diet. Elsewhere, the steam. Elsewhere, the mist. Elsewhere, Cairo, the place of fog, now Cairo now the Middle East. Elsewhere, in multiple histories, multiple Mediterranean seas, where can we go? And why do we go? To grasp the news from elsewhere, we relocate ourselves to the center every time. 
and we arrive fully masked so that no one can see that we are not of elsewhere, not even you, not even me, not even us. To understand elsewhere, we must keep our feet hanging, always at the ready. To be seen to know, so that we can be seen as knowing of elsewhere, we read, listen to the news from elsewhere, as if we are not of elsewhere. Elsewhere is that place where we speak from here. Elsewhere, in other news, in international news, always after the first headlines, except for the breaking news, after which the regular return from elsewhere. You hear that you're living elsewhere. The BBC announcer is calling you, telling you the news. Elsewhere is not a bad place at all. It is simply elsewhere. Simply elsewhere. Simply not here. Simply from somewhere else. Simply of otherwhere. Simply not simple at all. You read, you hear, you come to know that you are not, and you could never be, she who must be obeyed from that book by Sir Ryder H. Haggard that you read as a girl. Nonetheless, you mourn her demise, because at the time you were thinking, what right do these men have to come to this queen's home and behave like this? You don't yet know the term colonization. It will take a while to understand the relationship between colonization and elsewhere. In this elsewhere, the queen is not Africanized. She remains white. She's simply a queen, queening in Africa from the time before white Jesus, which means she's been queen of Africa way before colonization, and she's still not Africanized. The wiki masters remind us that Africanized bees are checked at the climate line. They cannot bear the cold winters. They cannot find food in the stark white landscape. In this elsewhere, as usual, you are the backdrop. You are the witness. In this elsewhere, there is no more space than there is on TV or on the radio or internet or elsewhere. Nothing simple about elsewhere. Nothing simple in its amorphousness. Nothing simple about its fogginess, nothing simple about its pointed finger from here, nothing simple about the sneer on the lips of the announcer as they say, elsewhere, nothing, nothing, nothing simple about elsewhere. This is the chorus from when I'm confronted with, what if the body is the site of captivity? These are my notes to belonging.